Hey Explorers, uh, so if you remember a little while back, I uh, was shooting in a dry lake bed where I was uh, sighting in my rifle. I've been up here shooting a number of different times. Uh, my son Sean came up and we came up here and went shooting and did a bunch of different stuff up here. Anyway, one time when I came up here, uh, this old boy that was up, him and his wife were walking their dogs up there in the pond. And he was telling me that that used to be the site of a mining camp and that the Chinese workers, basically the slave labor that was up here, working the mines with them, um, they had a camp that was down the road a little ways. And he said, I should go down and check that out. There's still a lot of remnants here. Um, and yes, there is. There's a pretty good sized cabin here. And uh, looks like Mowgli found him a mine shaft. Anyway, let's take a walk around and look at this cabin. It's pretty good sized building right here. There's actually, it looks like there was two buildings next to each other and one of them's kind of collapsed over on the other one. Uh, pretty neat stuff, but uh, like I said, this was the Chinese camp. They were not allowed to camp with all of the other folks that were up here working. They had to go down the road and do their own thing. But it's like, uh, since there's nothing left up there at Kelly Pond, and this is down here, looks like the Chinese workers probably did a better job. Some of these logs are hand hewed. There's chunks of wood chinking in there. This little little one over here appears like at one point it had a bit of mud roof. You can see they had some flat material on here and just covered it with mud. I don't know if you can see, there's that iron pipe that runs up there. That was actually a drainage pipe for Kelly Pond. Um, yeah, somebody's target practicing right over there. So, um, One of the things that's kind of sad about Kelly Pond is it doesn't hold hardly any water at all. And uh, I thought maybe somebody had destroyed the valve, but now that the water is actually all the way gone, I got in there and looked and it's just, it's all eroded out around the pipe and around the valve. So that's never going to be fixed, I'm sure. Anyway, yeah, we had a couple of nice cabins right here at one point. And the uh, classic tin can dump over there. Go dog, go! Kind of interesting that they... They just made their dump right next to their houses. I guess when you work as hard as these folks worked up here, walking too far to get rid of your garbage wasn't on the list. Let's see. Wow. A decent little hole here. Hopefully Mowgli's already scared out whatever critters might be in there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up any more than I can see, but... Pretty sure this was an old mine. You know, I don't know. This may have been a cold storage. I see a little bit of structure laying around up on top of this. Cold storage or dry storage, not really sure. Anyway, I was just up here farting around and I ran across this camp, these cabins, and uh, thought I'd show you that. All right, stay tuned. Just down below that camp is a lot of evidence of uh, open mining. Now, here's. Uh, there's an area, I don't know, we got a big rock pile that comes down. It looks like they may have, I don't know if you can see up there, there's a bit of a trail that goes up through the trees. So, look like they were hauling their rock down here and just piling it up. There's a lot of different mounds. I don't know, maybe this was all hand hauling. But it comes from a couple of different directions. All this rock down at the bottom here.
Kind of hard to tell if uh, maybe they just dug all of this out. It doesn't make sense that the mounds, that the spoil or the tailings would come from up high down to here. It's starting to rain a little bit. Not that that's going to hurt anything. But pretty good evidence of, <laughs> of a lot of digging right here. This whole area. Wow. Let's take a walk up this road. Here comes the wander mutt. Interesting. There's a lot of a lot of tailings piled up around here. Some big pipe coming off the side of the hill. I wonder if they use the water out of Kelly to do some washing up here. This road goes on for a little ways. Well, looks like a lot of the same stuff just goes on and on, but uh, it's a little piece of the mining history of central Idaho up here in the Stanley Basin. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and subscribers are growing and I appreciate everybody that has. And uh, leave some comments, something you want to see, something you want to go, want me to go back and look at, be happy to do it. All right, till next time, have a great day.